John's all fired up on his show on Tuesday. And the reason is this thing came out. I think it was on Shuli's Anonymous where Shuli and the gang were celebrating the fact that Stuttering John put up a Photoshop that included a swastika on it. Oh my. <laughs> and so this is going back a ways, but John was talking to this guy who was making these graphics for him, these Photoshops for him. And he was trying to goof on Anthony Cumia. He had this, I think he was making fun of his complexion or something. He had this like clear soul bottle thing and you know, whatever the joke was, John was all proud of it, but he didn't realize the guy he was working with was not his friend. Just like every person you've ever worked with, John (laughs) is not your friend. I know he knows that, but it is depressing. I get it. You don't want to admit that to yourself. Like, well, everyone's just fucking goofing on me. Yeah. Everyone, literally everyone. But John didn't realize that at the time. So then they surely in the gang <laughs> worked it out that there was a swastika on this image that he posted on Twitter. And so this was a, a joke and they're like, isn't that funny that John posted this thing? He didn't even realize it because he's an idiot. But then John has turned this into a thing where he's just this victim where they're just trying to get him fired and canceled and trying to get his life ruined instead of realizing it's just a prank. No one's actually going to like take you down. You're not going to go to prison for this or anything like that. But John's very upset about this. A part. Thanks for the five bucks. Stuttering John. Uh, 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 okay. Here we go. You know what? It's just, a tr- you know what? This is not. Let me just read that comment. Yeah. Eight for five bucks. You didn't get this read, but SJ, you say transphobic leaked audio and homophobic things all the time. Let's not forget end chasers. So get off your high horse, John. Busting balls. Yes, they're busting your balls. You got uh, you got your balls busted on this yeah. one. That's and all. he takes the time to do a two part uh, hypocrisy police yep. special edition. Oh yeah, yeah. Th- this is nuts because John's mad at me. For my coverage of this, right? For some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Brennan's mad at me for what I'm saying on shows and stuff like that. It's, it's all insane. A part. Thanks for the five bucks, Stuttering John. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. You know what? It's just a. Tr- you know what? This is not what aboutism. You can say all you want about me. This is not about me. Okay. So please, this is about a guy. who happens to be Jewish, who's trying to get me to post a swastika. Are you listening to yourself? This is not about me. This is about a guy fucking with me. (laughs) This is what he just said. (laughs) Jesus Christ. And it's hilarious. And he also said, oh, what this whataboutism. All you ever do whenever somebody brings up Biden is go, whoa, what about what Trump? What about Trump? What about Trump? And right before that, he was even saying, and hey, Carl, he talks about me, does not say anything about that. Like, that's also one about his, um, I was supposed to cover everything. I'm yeah. just one man. Yeah, Where is Carl when you need him? <laughs> I know, there's a lot of that going He's on. He's not the mayor of podcasting, John. That's, well, that's according to Kevin Brennan, I think I'm the mayor of podcasting. Oh. You're the librarian of podcasts. We'll podcast. get into that, yes. <laughs> that's what Kevin thinks. We'll get into that soon. But yes, John's going to explain what my job is, which I didn't even know. Because I don't remember writing this description for myself because I'm self-employed, asshole. (laughs) Yes, I do need Twitter for my business. Kyle. (laughs) But you haven't said a word yet. You haven't even murmured any bad thing about the dues pay ya. So apparently it's my job to explain that uh, Shuley did the wrong thing, hmm. according to John. I'm, that's what I was supposed to do. Now, remember, John was trying to goof on Anthony, and someone was goofing on him. And now he's the victim. So, and, no, it's, no, no, no. and it's Shuley's fault. <laughs> it's Shuley's <laughs> fault. But I just think that's so funny that, that John, once again, has been had. Yes. <laughs> and instead of just being like, ah, fuck, you guys got me again. That's a good one. He's immediately the victim. We're trying to ruin his life. Well, not we, obviously. I had nothing to do with any of this. But I'm supposed to be reporting on it and telling everyone on the internet how horrible this was that people oh, were yeah. fucking with Stuttering John. Oh, no. Well, yeah. It. I mean, meanwhile, this dick last week took a three-day victory lap over $100. <laughs> I know. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. So now we're going to talk about somebody brings up to John that he keeps doxing me. He keeps using my, my real first and last name. And John doesn't understand how any of this works, obviously. Carl Hamburger. Because you can't say his real name because then you're doxing him. Even though his real name is all over the place on his LinkedIn profile and everywhere else. Yeah. But if you say Drive his real his name I'm your, John, John, don't dox me, John. So here we go. Then I'm going to get to Kevin <laughs> Brennan. <laughs> okay. You are, my friend, a work. And I'm getting damn sick and tired of it. You're starting to piss me off now. You understand? You are starting to piss me off. <laughs> KP! Honey watch moves out. over. You're next, KP. Watch out. John is so fucking stupid. In order to find me on LinkedIn, you have to know my name. Yeah. He's so fucking stupid. He's in the phone book. He's on LinkedIn. Like, yeah, I know that, John. I'm just trying to not put my name out there because people, thousands and thousands of people tried to ruin my life just a few years ago. I told him this on the phone. Yeah. I could tell the reason why I don't use my last name is because. Well, he doesn't care because his life is ruined. What? <laughs> yeah. Why won't Cardiff tell me his real name? I know. Go right. figure. It's all over LinkedIn if I can ever find where he is on LinkedIn. <laughs> is Cardiff Electric on LinkedIn? All right. So he's going after Kevin Brennan. And this is fucking hilarious. I, I can't believe John thinks this. You know, I don't know where Kevin stands. I know he calls me an idiot on a regular basis. Kev, anytime you want to take an IQ test, please. Please. Okay. I'll bet. I'll tell you what, I'll bet my 10,000 to your 1,000. Wow. Deal? Uh, wait, that you win, right? You didn't say that part. He didn't say that part. <laughs> yeah. This is how stupid. You didn't say which side you were taking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> he's, he's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> he's shorting his own stock. Yeah. <laughs> this is how stupid John is. He doesn't know how stupid he is. And I've said this many, many times. John lives in this world where he thinks he's actually smarter than everyone oh, else. Oh, I know. I'm terrified to take an IQ test because I I don't want to learn how stupid I right. actually am. <laughs> but John really, literally thinks Kevin's a bright guy. I know that Kevin has a higher IQ than John. I know Anthony Cumia definitely does. He's challenged both of them to IQ tests. There's a uh, there's a quote that's been attributed to Mark Twain. I don't think it's his, but no amount of evidence will persuade an idiot. There's nothing you could show John. We've showed him clip after clip after clip of how stupid he is. Oh, yeah. How bad he is at everything in his life. How everything has fallen apart. He's lost everything. And he sits there and he goes, but I'm a smart guy. Yeah. You're not. <laughs> You're a fucking blithering idiot, John. But I, it's, it's, I mean, it happens all over the world with, like, the news feeds. People will do an immense amount of mental gymnastics yeah. to justify what they believe, whether it makes sense or not. And that's what John does. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember if we were talking about this on the show or before the show, but I checked in on John's political show today, and he's watching Joe Rogan and Bill Maher and explaining they're both fucking idiots. It's like, <laughs> no, 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 Joe Rogan and Bill Maher are not idiots. They're wildly successful they're, idiots. They're very intelligent. They're comedians who have turned their careers into things that are well beyond comedy. Like, you can't say either of those guys is a fucking idiot. You can disagree with their politics, but that's the thing with John. He's so stupid. He And the thing that they were saying is that Joe Biden isn't, a great president and john's like can you believe these idiots like john you're the yeah. idiot joe biden is not a great president yeah he's fucking wandering around he can't fucking talk he can't string together three sentences yeah. he went to hawaii and talked about how his house burned down once it's like he just <laughs> fucking lost an island asshole this isn't about you biden you moron and john's sitting there going i don't know why joe rogan and bill martin don't think he's a great president yeah because they're paying attention yeah they're saying he's an old man you're gonna argue the fact that he's right. old no, and and literally, it's like, well, Trump's only three years younger. What about is Yeah, <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, they, they both suck. Okay, how about that? <laughs> All right, they're so old and they still suck. Now, this is something I never thought would happen: the fact that John would bring up George Floyd when talking <laughs> about me <laughs> and what I've done to stuttering John. This is insane. This guy has <laughs> fucking lost his mind. I'm not going to say who because of people like Shuli is going to try and cancel me and Carl will just let it go. Carl, you're like the cops who let Derek Chauvin put his knee on George Floyd's neck because you're just going to just 
Why truly do this and not even condemn him for it? That might be hyperbole. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I think so. This, so John this, is George Floyd in this scenario. Yes, yes. And I'm the Asian cop who's just standing there going, all right, but stop filming this, yeah, please. Yeah, he's had enough, Shuli. <laughs> this is a kid who just got his ass kicked in the cafeteria and gets up and finds the nearest guy he knows. Why don't you do something? Right. That's what's happening. Oh, it's, it's insane. The fact that he thinks that I'm supposed to come to his aid yeah. in any of this. Yeah. You're a fucking idiot, John. But he's going to explain to me, John. I, I can't help. <laughs> I think I'm doing even more now. You but, probably say orange, too. Oh, I probably orange. do. You got me. But uh, again, John's going to explain what my business is for some reason. This is where Lady K, it's, he's supposed to observe and report. Where is the observations, Lady K? Where are the, where's the reporting about this? There he is. There's Bob. No, that's Knight, right? Of course, Bob is not doesn't know how to spell because he's a fucking idiot. Maybe he can realize what the symbol of hate does to people. Everyone makes mistakes. So what John is doing is uh, the classic overplaying your hand. He's being very literal. He's being literal John right now. Where he's going, can't you see? They're trying to ruin my life. These are all jokes. Everyone knows these are jokes. They made it very clear on the show. He's like, oh, they're bad actors. They're acting like I did this on purpose. No, it was a goof. It's all a goof. Yeah. They're all goofing on you. I don't know if you know what the Uncle Rico show is. It's a show where these three guys goof on you for two (laughs) hours straight. (laughs) It's the whole show. It's the whole show is goofing on you. And this is no different. They're goofing on you because you fell for this prank that they pulled off behind the scenes. They made it very clear that they were part of this prank that they pulled off behind the scenes, just like they did when they got Chad Zumach to clown you for three hours on a show. And John is sitting there fucking going, and Lady K needs to come to my rescue. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm also laughing with right. them. I'm also laughing. Yeah. By the way, this is the reporting part that yes. you're asking for. That's what's happening right now. Right. I don't do as many shows as you do. I do two WATPs a week, sometimes some bonus shows. I did do an extra show with Chrissy Mayer. And Ryan Kinnell on Saturday night. You're welcome. People are just like, this show sucks. Like, it's a fucking extra show. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right. So now John is going to uh, expose me. He is exposing me here. Now, let's take a walk down and expose Carl. Okay. Carl, who likes to think that he is the moral compass of every everything in the Dabbleverse. Let's take a walk <laughs> down the road of Carl. Oh, here we go. Shall we? Yes, please. Let's let's do it. So I don't think I'm the moral compass of everything in the dabble verse. I have a very clear rule when it comes to what we do here. Don't report the authorities or platforms to try to get people arrested or in trouble or taken down. That's all. Let's what, keep it. What's your jokes. stance on kids? Let's keep. Yeah. Let's keep it. Oh, we're gonna get into that. <laughs> Don't you worry, oh, John's gonna. That's where he's going with all of this. Oh, and we totally goof on stuttering John's kids. Okay, so he pulls <laughs> up the bonus episode, the first episode we did on Easy for You to Say, and I put in the last paragraph. <laughs> oh, and we totally goof on stuttering John's kids, which is more fun than you might think it would be. So John's gonna go off on this. I, I will point this out. I addressed this to his face. I remember. I, we talked about this. A couple of times. Yes, yeah. I addressed it to his face. I said, John, I wrote that because it fucks with you so much. You think that everyone's fucking with your kids, so I wrote that in there to mess with you. It's a goof. It's a joke, yeah. And then I went on this show, and I played everything that we actually played in that show, goofing on his kids, which again, was just like, oh, look at these. These sound like losers. I didn't say anything about them. I don't know who they are. I don't know anything about them. Of course, now I do, because John won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> But so John is going back to this. He's playing this hand again. Oh, and we totally goof on stuttering John's kids, which is more fun than you might think it would be. Okay. What say you, Carl? (laughs) Yeah, it's funny. Is that the behavior that you're engaged in? Let's goof on John's kids. It's more fun than you think. You already forgot what I told you about this. Is that what you're saying, (laughs) Carl? No, it's not. Carl. Where you going, Carl? This was Carl, three years where are ago. You? 
Where yeah, are you, Carl? Showing the, the Homer meme into the uh, bushes. Oh, Keep oh it going, you're John. disappearing, aren't you, Carl? Got some more jokes there, buddy? Nope. I hate his repetition yeah, of the same joke over and over again. Like after one time when it wasn't funny, doing it three more times, it's it it makes me angry. And it's weird because this never happened at the Howard Stern show. John should know better. I go back and I watch these old clips of when he came into the studio with Howard Stern. Howard keeps things moving. He's engaging. The conversation is great. John's doing the opposite of all of that. He learned yeah. nothing from his time there. But he's also, his brain is so alcohol riddled. He's retarded. He forgets things. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I've addressed this to your face, John. We've talked about this. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't goofing on your kids. You dedicated the book to them. And I said that they sound like losers. It was a joke. I didn't say anything specifically about your kids at all. Okay, so then he's still fucking claiming that I posted his entire book up on our Patreon. Really? Yes. Yep. Copyright strikes. You know why? He played my audiobook without any commentary. I I have it on fucking Photoshop. Not Photoshop. He claims it's Photoshop. <laughs> I have it. I have a screenshot of it. Yeah. A Photoshop screenshot well, of it. He's right? also <laughs> he's also changing what he originally said. Because if you remember, well, first he said that he saw the screenshot and I explained to him that, well, anyone can make a screenshot of anything. And I demonstrated it in real time on an episode together. Which fooled him. <laughs> Which yeah, fooled yeah, him. Yeah, he yeah. didn't understand the point so I was making. Just, you just made my point for me. Yeah, he didn't understand the point I was making. That, that really threw him off. I was using black magic in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> He's so a then. witch. <laughs> <laughs> Burn him alive. <laughs> so then... He said, no, 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 I actually saw the link, and I clicked on it, and I saw that my book was there. And now he's back to just saying he just saw it again. So he's lying. Uh, Hypocrisy. Right. And <laughs> back to your original point back then, John, what would we gain from giving your book away? Right. I never would ever do that. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And no one would ever, ever listen to it. No. <laughs> it's not good on its own. It's good uh, when I talk about it. Um. Dayla, thanks for five bucks. Here's five you simple as written anti Semite. Show us the hog bets have been placed. <laughs> Thank you, Dayla. Well done. <laughs> I love that John just gets out here and reads two to five dollars at a time, people just insulting him. Yeah. And he just has to take it. That's his only source of income. Spoiler, we're gonna find out that he was fired from his job as a teacher. He admitted that this week, actually, because he's playing the victim. Yes. He's fucking he's got that already got out. it spun. Yes. Okay, so now he's watching a clip that he found on a subreddit, you know, where all the haters go that he never goes to, except for now he goes there all the time. I'm sorry. Spend so much time not, there. Not to put the brakes on the conversation. You want to talk about free speech again? Or? No. <laughs> How do you get fired for being a substitute? They just won't call you? Oh, I think they let him know that he's no he's longer He's not in the there. pool of eligibility to be called? That's what I would guess, based on what John said. I based see. on what I was seeing, and I have some clips... Of what he was saying, it seems like the LAUSD said, yeah, no, we, we're good. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, my God. We can get one of those uh, AI things or something. Chat GPT will be better at teaching this class. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a globe yeah. and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we're desperate for teachers. Uh, not used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Step back. Yeah, job. we got this. <laughs> All right, so he's watching this clip, and he's watching when Vinny was on the show on WATP... And now John gets mad at Vinny Paulino, which is why Because they're best that friends. Yeah. One week. They're best friends. What are Carl, you doing? I appreciate you practicing what you preach. You preach. You even helped Chad Zumach when yes. his channel went down. Correct. And, and that was the right thing to do. Vinny, give me a fucking break, Vinny. Give me a break, Vinny. Why don't you, you know what? Let me find your fucking email. Give me a break, Vinny. Why don't you fucking condemn this behavior then, Vince? Why not? Why not, Vinny? Vinny Kumbat, come on, Vinny Paulino. Vinny Paulino. Vinny Paulino. Say it again. So John's not Vinny, understanding. Vinny, Vinny. <laughs> Jesus. I forgot he's still going. <laughs> uh, so he wants Vinny to fight see, for him Vinny? versus you. Right. Vinny! <laughs> All right. So there's a lot of false equivalencies going on here. John thinks that him trying to get my Patreon taken down because people are using gamer words in my Discord that was connected to the top tier of my Patreon, which is what he literally did. He sent 
multiple emails to Patreon trying to get my Patreon taken down for that reason, which I had nothing to do with the words that were being used in the Discord, nothing that I did, but he was trying to find a loophole through the terms of service to have my Patreon taken down. He thinks that's the same as Shuli pulling a prank on him and me not mentioning it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, just yes. I haven't mentioned it yet. That's the same fucking thing in his mind. And so he's now he's mad at Vinny Paulino right. for not having his back. Be, Vinny should have been like, yeah, but Carl. I mean, there was that swastika prank that Shuli did, and you've yet to come out and denounce that, so it's the same thing. He's such a fucking moron, but he's the biggest moron on the planet because, as you just saw, he goes, I'm going to send Vinny an email right now. He's he's mad what he just saw. I sped this up at 2.5x time because this is how long it takes John to try to find Vinny's email. <laughs> and I don't know what email he has for Vinny. If he has the right one, it's very easy to find. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But watch this. This is insane. Vinny, why can't I find your email? Oh, you know what? I'll get Vinny. Yeah. Yeah. Get Vinny. Yeah. I've got him in trouble. Yeah. Wow. 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 Vinny. Vinny, pull him out. Come on, buddy. Let me find your email. Vinny. It's Vinny. Vinny, pull him out. Yeah, he's hanging over here. But I can't find... Uh, you'll never find someone as innocent and kind as me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Let's see. Where is Vinny Paulino's email? Where is the email? Vinny. Vince. 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 He's like, I can't find it. I can't find his email. How the fuck can I not have his email? Uh, where is it? Oh, wait, Vinny. All right, I like Vinny. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find it here. Hold on. Let me see. Vinny Paulino. Vinny. Vinny Paulino. Vinny Paulino. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Oh, here he is. Meow. Meow. Wheel! Don't work! Wheel! Wheel! I can't find his email address because I love to have him on to call out his partner for the hypocrisy. <laughs> so, holy shit. I had to speed that up. That was three minutes of his show where he's just going, Vinny, Vinny Paulino, where's your email? John, this is not a show. This is terrible. He never did find the email. Yeah. And then he texted. Vinny and asked him what his email address is. <laughs> I don't know if Vinny got back to him or not. I haven't talked to him. Send me your email it. so I could shit all over you. This guy is fucking insane. So he continues to watch clips from WTP where he claims I should be calling out Shuli. So that goes on more and more. And then this is hilarious because John still continues to fall for things that people put in super chats that I find to be hilarious. Thanks for the seven bucks, Stark Biden 69. John, you're better than this. My motto. I love Nazis. Peace and love, Jackie. <laughs> Dark Biden. How would you feel if somebody tried to get you fired from your job? All right. John just said, I love Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we can clip that one, producer Chris. No make problem. A, make a note. I might already have it. Make a note of that. All right. Let's fast forward to uh, his next episode. And now... Um, Nine minutes in, he's talking about he can sue Bob for getting him fired, he thinks. And Who's Bob? Bob Levy. Bob Levy. Oh. He is watching. He thinks Bob Levy got him fired. Well, I'll tell you why. He's watching an old episode of MLC that features me, Kevin, and Bob. I did, All right. I did see this. And we're all talking about yep. stuttering John. And that's how old is that? A couple months ago. Okay. I would imagine. I think it was before he came back. Because Bob's still on MLC. Yeah. Well, he just quit there a couple weeks ago. But I think it's before John came back to the internet. We were all discussing John. And again, literal John doesn't understand. Bob made this like over the top comment. He's just like, well, if John wants to work at a school, I'll do everything in my power to make sure he gets fired. Like, Bob doesn't care. Right. It's a joke. Bob's been doing this a lot lately where he's like threatening KB and he's like making up all these crazy things. He's like, we're going to be watching you. I got a whole team of people going to be following you around on your bike. And Kevin Brennan's taking it literally. It's like, these are all jokes. You guys really don't. <laughs> yeah, right. Bob was on. He's uh, an old man. He doesn't want to leave his backyard. Bob was on the BS show the other day um, calling out Brennan and saying he would uh, challenge him to a tic-tac-toe match. <laughs> He's goofing. This is, these are goofs. You guys don't get it? He's a, he's a comic. He's a professional comedian, Bob Levy. You guys don't understand that? John does not understand that. So John is going to explain that uh, he has a, a lawsuit on his hands here because he did get fired from this job, and Bob said that he would get him fired. So there's all the, the proof that they need. Suspect number one. <laughs> yes. 
Can you finger the person in the courtroom? Uh, no, because it points the wrong way. Joke. Anyway, uh, John wants to be on this show. All right, so there you go. Also, I do want to you point know. this out, Kevin, since you asked. So, Nanda, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear Carl anymore. Again, I can't again, his voice. Uh, John, John. Oh, I mean, but anyway, so there you have. There you have. Now I have proof. Now I am calling my attorney. Now I do have damages. And if it turns, you know, look, we have Bob saying it, Dave, don't we? I mean, he just said it right there. He said it, he said it uh, unambiguously. It wasn't like there was a way to mis- misinterpret that. Like, By said, the way, the only dirt I had on Bob oh. was the one he so posted this- about his wife. What John's talking about here is we were goofing on him because John was threatening to come back to the internet with all this dirt on all of us. And so I was goofing. I'm like, what? John doesn't have dirt on us. What is he talking about? So John's going to explain what, what that is. But he's exa- he's saying that he has proof that Bob wanted to get him fired, and he did get fired, and therefore he can now talk to his attorney and sue Bob Levy. That's not how that works at all. I can't believe John still doesn't understand how the legal system works at all. I'll bet you 100 bucks. <laughs> he has no idea. All right, let's talk about that. Because... Six minutes after that, he talks about how Kevin Brennan owes him all this money because Kevin has still yet to pay him the $100 that he promised he would for sniping the Uncle Rico show a few weeks ago. And so John's going to break this down for us. A promise isn't a financial contract. This is before he asked me to snipe Julie. Right. I did his show and I killed it. And he knows I did. And he told me I did. And we were on the phone. He goes, yeah, John, everybody loves you. I want to send you some money. I go, you don't have to, Kevin. It's it's all right. He goes, no, I want to send you. Go, all right, you know, okay. You know, you don't have to, but okay. What's your Venmo? And then I, I don't know. I, either I gave it to him or he had it. He sends me one hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> no, one hundred seventy five dollars. Now that I got right, mm-hmm. then I book Monday to appear on his show, and he said he's going to pay me. I do the show. And then on that show, he tells me to snipe Shuli. And if I do, he'll pay me a, an extra hundred dollars. An additional an additional hundred dollars. An, an additional hundred dollars. So what do I do? I rush home from the pub. I sniped Shuli for like an hour, hour and a half, or whatever it was. It was late. a long time. I think it was like at least an hour because they were on for a Long that night, and you, you were on. And I want to say, hour and and <laughs> I'm the one who exposes them for the fake super chats. All right, so you just heard John explain he got paid $175, and then he went on to do his show again, and he wanted to get paid for that, but he also wanted to get paid for the snipe that Kevin promised him a hundred dollars. I mean, this is insane to me that this is what we're talking about. <laughs> Could you imagine being this upset over a hundred dollars? Squabbling over a hundred dollars. Twenty five dollars. Like it's John, in the long run, what does this fucking mean about anything? My favorite part of the clip is where Kevin says, Oh, I want to give you money, and John says, You don't have to. I know. Oh, there's <laughs> no way you He's said so that. And I, I can only picture John being like, you know what? I, we're good. Okay. I mean, if you insist. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled that too because that is bullshit. <laughs> I know. We all know who John is. Like, literally, after we did that show together, yeah. and I had to pay John half the Super Chats, and YouTube doesn't even figure out how much money you made in Super Chats until a couple days later, I got the text from him a half an hour Mitch. later. Yeah. Just a I'm, dollar sign. Just with a dollar sign. Yeah. John always needs money. He's never sitting there going, ah, whatever. This one's on me. When you get to it, you get to it. So this gets really fucking funny. Because now John is going to get third parties involved in order to track down this money that uh, KB owes him. All I'm asking for, Brennan, is the hundred you promised me. And if you don't pay, we'll have to do collections. That's my that's my department, Kevin Brennan. So I'll have, I'll have to come over there and uh, collect. No, I'm going to call a real collection agent. He promised me the money. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding, but that's funny. Well, I don't care. <laughs> Just have somebody calling him all the time. I know they take fifty dollars out of it, but I don't care. Pay your be- pay your debt, Brennan. Don't be grape jelly. Don't be grape. John thinks he can get a collection agency. To work with them to collect a hundred dollars, and he thinks they collect fifty dollars. That's not true. That's not true at all. This is so petty. And even DG's laughing in his face. DG, yeah, yeah. whose only role is to agree with John all the time, yeah. 
and make John think that he's not trolling him. <laughs> and he even went, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, 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 he's he's like, like, oh, you're yeah. serious. Oh, okay. No, I, that, that is a good idea, sir. No, nope, that makes a lot of sense. He laughed in your face. He has no idea how pathetic he is. So, John, why don't you just call it a wash between the money that you weren't going to take from KB and right. say, oh, it's okay. That came right after. He's just like, ah, whatever. And then he has the balls to say this, which is even fucking crazier based on what you just heard. I already paid you. I go, no, you didn't. You paid me 175 for the first show, 150 for the second show, but you haven't paid the extra 100 yet. He hasn't. He has not. So he's not. he ain't going to pay me. But you know what, Kev? If it means that you, if you don't pay me the hundred that you're out of my life forever, so be it. Then, then it was the best hundred I ever spent. Liar! <laughs> you just got done saying you will get a collection agency involved who will take 50% of the money just to get your money from KB. And then immediately goes, but you know what? It's good. I don't want to deal with KB. I'm out of the Kevin Brennan business over here. What a fucking liar. He, John, you just said the opposite of that. You're desperate to get your hands on $100. Yes, he, uh, he quite obviously is. All right, here's another clip on here where he's calling me out directly <laughs> again. This show is such a broken record. I don't know who sits there and watches all the way through these episodes. Yeah, I, I was in. I was all in for a minute. And then yeah. I realized it's just the same talking same points shit over, over and over again for days. He's not and doing days. a show. Yeah. He's just ranting like a little sign to some of his friends that we don't know about, huh? Can we oh. can you send wow. that to the Jewish Defamation wow, League? So now what is Bob saying? Could I Bob? Yeah, he's saying DF yeah, he's saying Could they the, send the, it to the Jewish Defamation League? JDL, yeah. People, people, hey Lady K, are you gonna talk about this? Here you have these guys trying to cancel my guests, cancel my show, and get me canceled from the JDL. Is that an okay. act? Ex- this just reminded me of something that I totally forgot about. This is how dumb John is. He thinks that he can get canceled by the JDL because I remember when Anthony Cumia put out that tweet about his trans kid, John tried to get him in trouble with that, like GLAD or like a couple of different organizations that were LGBTQ+. So he literally thinks that these organizations can get someone canceled out of life mm-hmm. if they tweet something or they post something on the internet that you don't like. That's not how the world works, you fucking moron. But John thinks that's how the world works because he actually literally tried to do that. And again, hypocrites! <laughs> you were trying to ruin someone's life using these organizations. Bob makes a joke about getting them involved. It's a joke. You really yeah. don't know that's a joke, literal John? Are you that stupid? That's such a shitty thing to do to try and sick like watchdog organizations yeah. on somebody. John John literally did that. He's the guy who does that sort of thing, which is why he thinks this is serious. It's not. Anthony was never sweating over that. He wasn't worried about it. He didn't think this organization was going to come in and take his house. They can't do that. The report of this. I wonder why. Hypocrite. I, I wonder why. I think why? you're better than that. I've told John I think you're better than that and that you'll come up with something soon. But if you prove me wrong, that's it, Carl. After that. No. no. Carl's a piece of shit. He ain't, he ain't doing shit about this. Why would I? I have nothing to do with this. I'm not a part of this in any single way. And DG's going, I thought Carl was a better person than this. Why? <laughs> I called you a shit out of your face. Why do you think I'm a good person at all? I think you're a loser. What would or could you do? Well, what can I possibly do? I'm supposed to fucking Call come out Julie here. and tell him he's an <laughs> asshole. I don't know. Call JDL. I do not know what he thinks I'm going to do. All right. One more thing I have to point out before we move on. Because my buddy, Daniel Folato, messaged me the other day and he goes, Hey, I just got the phone with Suttering John. I had a real long conversation with him. I'm like, Holy shit. No kidding. And I said, I, Well, you know, I'd love to have uh, Dan on the show sometime to discuss many things including that conversation, but also he's got some shit on Scott, the engineer that I find very interesting. We've talked about, so that would be great. So John goes on his show and talks about how him and Daniel Filato had this conversation. And let's keep in mind that Dan refers to, or John refers to Dan as Dan, the enabler. Can I ask real quick who yeah. is Dan Filato yes. just for context? Of course. I was, that's what I was just going to say. Thank you. So Dan was Artie Lang's producer of the Artie Lang show. Okay, right. And when John 
went over and did Artie Lang's show multiple times. One of the times John was having a lot of laughs at his kid's expense when his kid was transitioning. And Dan, being the good guy, said to John, hey, if you want, I won't put this one out. And John at the time goes, ah, it's fine. Who cares? But he was drunk. And then the next day, John went, oh, dude, you can't put that out. And Dan goes, yeah, no problem. I won't. So Dan was looking out for John. Correct. Dan is a, a great guy. I mean, anyone you talk to who's dealt with Dan will tell you the same thing, except for Stuttering John, <laughs> who goes out and goes, no, Dan was helping Artie get heroin and coke, and he was part of the problem. Dan was not part of the problem. He did everything in his power to help Artie Lang. We talked about this along with Bob Levy, along with Colin Quinn. Uh, some other guys were involved as well, trying to get Artie help, but it was impossible to help the guy. But John, being the asshole that he is, who used to go into Artie's house with a case of beer, a guy who's supposed to be trying to stay sober, and John's sitting there getting wasted in front of him. And remember, I, I confronted John about that, and John goes, oh, Artie was drinking too. I go, no, he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't? No. No one's drinking in that house. There's no booze. There's They're trying to keep drugs out of there. It was just you, and then you're calling out Dan for being in a neighbor, which he was not. All right, so let's see what John says now. Yeah, baby. Him. How are you? Sorry, I'm a little late. I was busy talking to my my buddy, Dan Falato, <laughs> okay. who we explained, well, Dan explained a lot of the things that went on that I either didn't remember or didn't know about. Scout, <laughs> yep. Yeah, probably a lot of things you don't remember, I would imagine. Or conveniently I do forgot. apologize to them because just let's say I mistook a different Dan with Dan. That's a lie. He knew exactly who he was talking about. He was calling him Dan the Enabler because he said that when he went over to Artie's house, he asked Dan if Artie was using, and Dan said, not in front of me. If he's using, he's hiding it. And John explains, oh, so that means that you must be part of the problem. You didn't tie him to a chair. Right. So now John's pretending that he was motherfucking some other Dan. He just got two Dans confused. I mistook a different guy's name, Dan, with Dan Filato. My mistake. Liar. And I apologize. Dan's explain. a great guy. He hey, John, you have to explain that one to me. Which Dan did you think was Dan the Enabler? Which Dan who produced and lived with Artie Lang did you think you were calling out? You fucking liar. You're lying right now. And it's so obvious because Dan's a good guy. He finally talked to John. He goes, John, listen, this is how it went down. I loaned you money. You didn't pay me back. You tried to get out of paying me back. I helped you out with this thing that you didn't want going up on the internet. You told me we'd be best friends for life. And then you turned your back on me. And John's going, oh yeah, you're right. I am a piece of shit. I, I can only imagine what this phone call was. I wasn't there. He, was, really he is a friend for life. Um, oh, and uh, the stuff... I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I do know I am allowed to say one of the things that um, I'm I'm shocked to hear. And I don't wanna I don't wanna betray Dan on anything else, but let's just say we were on the phone for over an hour and a half. Poor guy. <laughs> Took one for the team. <laughs> well shit. just wait because he'll in it he'll accidentally say it. Two episodes later, we'll be like, oh, I forgot I wasn't supposed to say anything. Oh, yeah, for sure. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-E-R-S.